All right, so using the, the, the view script, we're able to get our 2D line work, which is the same as make 2D, that's the command it uses, but we're also able to get this border, which will help us align our rendering that we had just completed. The next thing we want to do is to actually put in a, a poche of, of where this section is taken. So if we look here, we, we cut right through there, and if I select all these objects and type section, I can come in and actually draw where that section cut was. And there it is, I can see it here. Uh, so going back and making this my, my full screen, you know, one viewport, uh, I want to make sure that that view is set up exactly as it was before, and that's why we save this. So there, that's the rendering, that's what we had just done. Uh, and now I want to make a 2D off the section work. So if I type make 2D, uh, don't need hidden lines this time, it's just the section cut, and I'm going to tell it to make those in a, the visible lines on layer section. So it makes a section layer for us. We zoom back out, here it is. Uh, we can try to line that up now with the, the existing line work we had made before. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it's a little off. And it, this is what happens when you do a couple make 2Ds. They don't always match. But the ratios and proportions are the same, so we could always just scale this edge so it meets. And if we look here at the building, it lines up nicely. It's perfect, comes all the way to the end. So we're good. So now I want to select all of this line work, and not the base, uh, and move it down around the origin. Illustrator needs it to be in and about the origin for it to actually you know, come into the file. Export, uh, I'll call it final line work dot AI is great. Uh, it doesn't really truly have a scale because we're looking at it uh, at an obscured angle. So there's, we can't actually measure it and say that this is true. When you look at things in perspective, they change. Uh, that's a bad version there, but we'll just make a new one by opening up that line work, which was final line work. Great. Uh, we have the section cut, the hidden line, and the line. I'm going to lock everything. Unlock hidden. Control A to select all. I'm going to set my stroke color to black. I want to set my stroke weight to 0.1 and turn on dash. I want this to be two point, it's always tricky. By default, it's at 12 point. Looks like two point though, so if I make it two, I'm good. I can see I have a nice hidden line weight back there. The next thing I wanna do is to go ahead and turn off, or lock the hidden, and unlock section. So now I can click Control A again and get all of these, and I can use the Live Paint tool. If I remember correctly, Live Paint here, it's also the shortcut key K. I can click, and now it's a live paint group. I can pick a color that I want to use for my, my poche color. I'll use my orange, something like that. Uh, and I can come in and just fill in the portions of the building that we've cut through. So this is making, you know, kind of the poche marks. Again, the geometry is a little screwed up, so we get, we get instances like this. And really, I could have edited that all in Rhino and deleted it out and things like that, but it, it's okay for right now, just giving an example. Finally, we need to lock section and create a last and final layer, move it to the bottom, and we can call this rendering. And into here, we want to uh, place the rendered file, and I had called that AAA. There it is. So it's here. Uh, I want to move this so that it's lined up with the edge of that, that viewport box. And this is the benefit. This is what the script had given us, the ability to kind of line that up here. I'm going to unlock my line layer so it can snap. There it is, snap there. Pan up, and then from this corner, holding shift, I'm just going to make it snap right to the edge there. Uh, this was the other edge of that viewport box, and I know that my rendering is perfectly in line with my line work. I'm going to delete that the actual bounding box, we don't need it. Uh, unlock everything and just move it up so it's kind of framed on the page lock it all back. Uh, the rendering is a little too dark for my taste. I prefer if that was a little lighter, so maybe 25 or 45. Yeah, that looks nice. So zooming into that, we have kind of our, our section cut, uh, line work showing the depth of the space and perspective. We have hidden line work, and we are able to paint the uh, section cut and poche it in. Uh, so in the future, we're going to do a little bit more advanced tutorial where some of the materials left, let's say the, for the front of the building, is not deleted, but it's just hidden. And that would give us a better depiction of the light inside the building. You can always check out ckmca.com for more video tutorials.